Overtime Convo Magic. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me. 103-96 the final score as Ohio went the extra five minutes to sweep the season series from the Buffalo Bulls. That's nine wins in the last 11 times in the series. That is 31 wins all time and 41 games against U at B. And Ohio is in sole possession of position number two in the Mid-American Conference. And, yes, it was magical today. Yeah, it really was. And a hard-fought game. Ohio trailed by double figures both halves, but had enough shooting, enough defense down the stretch to come back. Five straight to get us out of regulation, winning the overtime big. Defense finally at the end takes over. Our postgame reports are supported by Don Wood Toyota, 900 East State Street in Athens. And at times in this ballgame, it appeared that both sides were poised to drive away from the other. Ohio was down early on, made a little run. Jerron Simmons was a stabilizing force there. The Cats went on a run towards the end of the first half and that lead. And then a run for Buffalo at the start of half number two. And then, boom, overtime. And Ohio somehow was able to wrestle this thing away. There were some technical fouls late that put Ohio to the line to ice this thing. There are so many elements of this contest, and we have – too little time to be able to go over all of them, but this was a game that had more than seven layers of dip to it. Yeah, it really did. A lot of fouls, a lot of points. Ohio went to the line a lot, made a lot of free throws. And look at some of the games. Jerron Simmons, 31, frankly, one of his best games ever. As, as a Bobcat, he had a big night. Treg Setti as a senior had a big night. Kenny Kaminsky back from uh, back from Tuesday, much better effort in a game where, frankly, Buffalo took away Antonio Campbell for much of this much of this contest. Treg Setti in his final game inside the Convocation Center. We hope anyway there might be a CIT or CBI game, but you throw that away if you get to the NCAA tournament. But Setti eclipsed his previous career high of 20, which he set twice: one in Carbondale as an SIU Saluki against Illinois State, and one here against UC Riverside earlier on this season. He had 24 points nine rebounds, and he fouled out of the game. Yeah, a different kind of night for Trey. He needed to be more of a focus on offense, needed to take more shots. Took a bunch of twos today, had to when Tony Campbell was getting doubled and fronted, but he got what he needed as a senior, went and got the points Ohio needed today. Back and forth, what an exciting game. What an interesting game. What a long game, Russ. Yeah, it was a long game. Tipped at 4 o'clock, ended after 6.30. Jordan Dardis hit a couple of big threes. Two shots that he banged down, and both popped the top off of this building. Yeah, critical late back-to-back -back six points, uh, six straight points for Ohio. A bigger picture for Dardis. Freshman, who you count on as, frankly, your defensive stopper against big-time other guards. He did it again today. He stopped Skeet in the first Buffalo game. This time he stopped Massenburg. I'm going to tell you, there aren't a lot of other teams on this level, let alone the Mid-American Conference, that would have 7,000 here uh, when students are on break. And that's exactly what happened here. You talk about best fans on the MAC. There's another reason why. No, best building, best fans. This team deserved. This team has earned it. And the turn for this team from last year to this year, there are two great stories in the league this year, Ohio and Ball State, and you're getting to watch this one front row. Yeah, classic MAC schools. Ball State's gone on runs before Ohio has two, and perhaps one of the two can go on another one here. There have been a lot of highlights in this building, and there were a lot of highlights today. Touched by Convo Angels. Shots went down when they had to. Buffalo hit some big shots, too. You're going to see a lot of them here. This is how it looked and sounded on Saturday. Great season, though. Right sideline with the ball. It is Simmons. Shot clock's at 8. Out high on the right. He'll shoot a 3. Bang for Jerron Simmons. On the left side, it's Bearden behind a screen. Throw it to the screener. Beyond the arc, left side, Hamilton. 3. Got it. Out to the point. Throw it over to the right side. Connor drives on block. Gavin stays with him, but got into the lane and laid it in with the right hand on the right side. 12-5, Buffalo on top seven. And the shot clock's at six. Beyond the arc, behind a screen. Hamilton to the foul line. Throws back over to the right side. Connor wide open for three, and he banged it down. And Ohio is down 10 early on, 17-7. Simmons straight on for three. Book it. That's his second. And Ohio is down by seven. 13-32 to go. Straight on, it is Hamilton for Buffalo to the foul line. Leaves it low and working. It's Perkins stripped on the way up, saved by Simmons. Maybe a point in transition here. Simmons leading the pack to the goal. Floated in there and finger rolled it in. At point right and stops. Bounce to Kaminsky, left side angled. Campbell clears some path for him, and then Kaminsky bricks the shot, but Setti gets a rebound, and he banked it in there. A little kiss off of a couple of portions of the iron at Ohio down six. 
Kaminsky pocket left, steps in after a shot fake, shoots and scores. Ball State hit a record 18 threes, by the way. Point right three, bang for Kenny Kaminsky. Speaking of threes, hmm. Corner left, Kaminsky for three. Off the iron, no. Sonny swoops in for the rebound. Got it, goes back up. 31-30, Ohio down one. Simmons head and shoulder fake, stops left of the paint, shoots and scores. Jarrah 18 points in the first half. He and Connor, the men of the match. Simmons in between the circles. Now to the right sideline, Kaminsky for three. Bang for Kenny and Ohio is on top, 51 to 43. Rebound Buffalo, here comes Hamilton who has 10 points. He is a strong forward who rock steps into the lane to the goal and left it up there with the left hand. Pedals it to the foul line on a bounce into the post, layup good and Buffalo leads. Campbell post left, bodying his way in on Smart. Still dribbling, right hand hook, got it. That is his first bucket of the game in his third shot attempt. Taylor, baseline right, spins in the paint. Now it's Setti at the foul line. Got to get the handle on the shot. He did. Simmons into the green. Pocket left Campbell for three. Got to be there. It isn't. Rebound. Kaminsky goes back up. 70 to 66. Ohio down four. Ohio's biggest lead was eight. Buffalo's was 10. Simmons in the lane, glides to the goal. Left it up with the left hand with a kiss. It's a little shaky. Free throw good. Buffalo up three, 76-73. Setti right corner, three, bang, and we're tied. This is somewhat akin to the first half where Ohio got a little emotional and then Buffalo peeled away. Then Simmons goes to the rim and laid it in. Now seven on the timer. At six and five, beat Campbell into the painted beard and a little show and go and he left it in. Simmons point right. Now to setting on the baseline. Measures his dribble underneath the 10. Spins, draws a double team, rip the ball away from a tie up. Campbell gets it right ahead. Yes. Stops the dribble out high. Corner right, Dardis fires up a three. Boom! Now it's seven, now it's six. High screen, springs to the right side with four. Now with three. Behind the back dribble, foul line right. Off balance shot contested. No rebound. Wigginson held by Campbell, but the foul came after the horn. And we're going over time for the first time this year. Eye to eye with Connor, three on him. Bang! Simmons high on the left, left hand dribble. Beyond the arc on the left side, guarded by Rodell Wigginton. Takes him into the paint, beat him. Corner right, Dardis for three, Bang! It is Skeet right wing for three. Rimmed out of there, blocked, got the rebound, ripped away, but a foul on Buffalo. Eight seconds left and a technical foul has been issued on the Bulls and this baby will be painted green and white. So now Ohio has 19 wins on the year, 10 in Mid-American Conference play by virtue of Miami's win over Kent State. The Red Hawks helping out again. Ohio in sole position of position two in this league. Yep, obviously the tiebreaker over Ball State, so you're right there, and you get to play Akron ostensibly a game ahead of you on Tuesday to go to go to the top of this thing, period. Akron and Miami to come after a really successful stretch. It is road rivalry week now, and uh, it's going to be tough to get Bobcat fans into the jar because they, they draw pretty well there, and it should be packed for the Bobcat game. But if you're thinking about a road trip for Friday, get over to Millette Hall, they will have some tickets available. Several, several, and obviously a later tip on Akron on Tuesday, but tune in with us. Biggest key from my standpoint on Tuesday night as we preview that ball game, how will Ohio guard the three? When Akron wins, they go bango bongo from three, and they bang down a ton of them. Ohio was a couple of possessions away against the Zips yep. here, but Ohio wins the ball game if they could somehow keep Akron around six, seven, or even eight threes made. Yeah, is Ohio's defense ready to stop a team that wants to take high volume threes? We'll find out very, very soon. 103-96, the final score in overtime, and that concludes our business from the Roundhouse on Richland. We'll see everybody at the jar on Tuesday night. For Rob Cornelius and the entire Bobcat TV crew, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Goodness, this was fun. Paint it green and white. Oh, baby, what a big-time win. The Cats get it done over the Buffalo Bulls, and this is Bobcat TV.